don't know if, uh, on the odd chance, I don't know if anybody saw last night's show. But something happened on last night's show. Wow, two of you, that's great. Um, <laughs> we were watching Bravo. Um, no, last night we had uh, something happen, and, uh, and we've been getting a lot of response about this today. A lot of people, I've actually had some people in the street stop me and uh, talk to me about this. Uh, last, uh, last night, we tried to do a bit that we've done you know, other times on the show, and uh, it's, it's, a little, it's a routine where I just, I show some of my photos from my Oscar party on the air. <laughs> and, uh, and so we started doing this, this thing over here at the desk, and we start showing the photos, and the photos are shown to you via a machine that's in our control room that puts them up on the television monitor so that everyone can see them. We're about a third of the way through this bit when apparently, unbeknownst to me, the machine s melts down. It like starts smoking and it breaks down. And suddenly, there are no more photos to show. We're only a third of the way through the routine and there's, like, what am I gonna do? This is our show. This is what we've got tonight. We've got no backup. You can't stop. This show is live to tape. You gotta keep going. So uh, the whole show was suddenly brought to a screeching halt by this malfunction. Uh, We'll show you. Take a look for yourself. <laughs> then, to get everyone in the Oscar mood, I gave out Hollywood Walk of Fame stars. Here's the one I gave to Joel. Huh? <laughs> oh, I should be looking through these. Yeah, here's the one I gave to Joel. We got a little technical problem here. Oh, we were doing so well. <laughs> this will kill everything. <laughs> they got it figured out yet? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do, and we were just, right? You were there, it's Evie. I mean, we were just like stuck. We didn't know what to do. So I thought fast, and I did what any self respecting talk show host <laughs> would do to fill time and cover in that crucial situation. It was just, I mean, we've been doing this show for almost nine years. Nothing like that's ever happened. I mean, we, we, we sort of, we, you know, project a lot of sort of unprofessionalism here on the show, but nothing like that, all right? <laughs> Last night was an evening nobody should ever have to witness. <laughs> so behalf on, uh, of everyone, behalf of everyone on, uh, here at Late Night, I'm, I apologize. I'm, I'm sorry that that happened. You were denied your comedy. And, uh, <laughs> and anyway, I was just thinking to myself, you know, uh, I had an Oscar party. Uh, a couple of nights ago. Did you know that? I had an Oscar party, and uh, yeah, I had an Oscar party. It was really cool. Max was there, and uh, our announcer, Joel Goddard, was there. Yeah. And guess what? I just got the pictures back. And I thought, we didn't get to see him last night. What if I showed him tonight, huh? Well, no. Nothing goes to waste here. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to look at these, though. And we're going to do it tonight. And let's just pray that the machine that broke down last night can just get through this piece tonight. Everyone, because NBC does not get the best equipment, you know? <laughs> they buy most of the electronic equipment from hillbillies. <laughs> we got equipment, we got equipment, hurry up. That's, that's just what NBC does. This desk is like, this isn't even wood. That's pathetic, you know? They sa they're saving the dough here, okay? I don't, I'm just, uh, when I get behind the desk, I take off the pants and give them back to the guy we're renting. <laughs> the saving all the so let's just all pray that our, our machine is working tonight and can get through, this, uh, get through this piece. And I think it's gonna be a fun piece because it's called Oscar Party Photos. <laughs> Well, anyway, I had this party, and like I say, it was a big deal. I had it over at my apartment, 
And since it was for the Oscars, I, uh, I wore a tuxedo for the event, which I thought was <laughs> a really good idea. Yeah. And I, I really wanted the party to be a smash, so I got the best caterer in town to come by and make sure <laughs> everything was... That guy is good. He comes quickly. Now, uh, to make sure I had the... F and he's thrilled to see me, too. He, a real big-time celebrity in person. Now, to make sure I had the freshest caviar, I squeezed it myself, which I thought was a, uh, a good idea. Um, I do love that fish looks like it's being violated somehow. <laughs> Anyway, then it was time. Uh, Joel arrived first. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I said, hi, Joel. He said, hi, Conan. Then I said, how's it going? And he said, not bad. Then it got awkward because we had run out of things to say. So we just stared at each other. Then I thought I heard Joel say something, and I said, what, Joel? <laughs> and he said, I didn't say anything. <laughs> then I asked if I could take his coat. <laughs> then he pointed out he wasn't wearing a coat. <laughs> we both wanted to die. <laughs> then, luckily, just in the nick of time, Max arrived. <laughs> Folks, if you don't know him personally, that's how he enters a room. Hello! <laughs> <clears throat> Max broke the ice by showing us his special Oscar shirt. <laughs> I, uh, I pretended to think it was cool. But Joel said he thought it was stupid. Max then explained to Joel that it was funny because it was Oscar the Grouch, not the Oscar statue. And so Joel yelled, I get it, it's a stupid joke. 